First thing you'll need is obviously your electric guitar. Christmas 2007, my parents got me my first electric guitar. I was so stoked because I figured I'd finally get to play some glorious distorted sound of emo rock with it. It was the best day of my life. Sort of. The thing is, they didn't get an amplifier, and when I got my electric guitar, all I could play from it is a lousy twang. What's up guys, it's me Ted and let's face it, back then, buying your first electric guitar is almost synonymous to getting your first amplifier as well. But with the miracle of technological development, we have technology. you may not even need to own an amplifier at all to rock your heart out. The best part is that you could even save yourself some money for you don't have to get an expensive amplifier or mic to record and practice your electric guitar which is perfect for those who are on a budget. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how I record a practice guitar without using a natural amplifier. First thing you'll need is obviously your electric guitar. Next is your guitar cable. And then you'll need a laptop or a computer. You don't need a gaming laptop for this one. A decent laptop with at least 4 gig of RAM or an i3 computer processor is enough. Next is an audio interface. This is the device used as a middleman between your guitar and your laptop. To put it simply, an audio interface is an audio device that sends the sound you make from your guitar to your laptop for high quality recording. Next, you'll be needing speakers or headphones. Decent studio speakers or headphones can get expensive, but if you're really tight on a budget, you can just use your trusty earphones and just a cheap adapter that costs less than a dollar to plug it in your interface. Next, you'll be needing a DAW. DAW or DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation and it's basically a software where music can be recorded, edited, and produced. Again, getting one can be expensive but there are other interfaces that comes with a free software bundle that includes a DAW. For my Focusrite, I got a free Ableton Live Lite 9 which is awesome. There are also DAWs that are free like Audacity. For this tutorial, I'll be using my Ableton Live 10. Next, you'll be needing an Amp Simulator plugin. These Amp Simulators are software that simulate the sound of real and actual amplifiers. It may not fully capture the whole experience of having a real amplifier in your room, but it is crazy how close the simulator sounds to the actual amp. There are free ones and there are expensive ones, but if you're just practicing, the free ones are more than enough. For this tutorial, we'll be using the free ones. I've provided the link down below so you could check it out. The first link will be your amplifier while the other is your cabinet. Now the cabinet can be understood simply as a speaker for your amplifier. Now let's begin the tutorial. Let's go first to the hybrid amp sim which simulates that Marshall amplifier. Before downloading, make sure that you know if your laptop is 32-bit or 64-bit. You can check it by going to the control panel and checking the system information. In my case, uh, my laptop is a 64-bit operating system, not a 32-bit, which means I have to download this one here, Win64 VST. You'll notice that it is a zip file, which means that you have to extract the file out of the zip file. So you can just simply right-click the file and just click Extract here. And there you have it. This is the file that you need hybrid.dll Now what you're gonna do with this file is that you're gonna place this to the folder where all of your plugins of your DAW are stored. So how can you find that folder you may ask or where is it? You can check it by going to the preferences of your DAW. In Ableton, you go to options, preferences, and you go to this file folder section and this is the location of where your all of your plugins are stored for your this DAW. In other DAWs, you can also check it in the preferences section as well. The location of that folder is in C, Drive, Program Files, Steinberg, and VST plugins. So what I'll do now is to copy or cut 
I just use copy copy it and go to the location here so C program files Steinberg and VST plugins okay so you just simply paste and just continue wait for it to be pasted and there you have it the hybrid DLL now what you want to do is to rescan it and you notice in the plugin section here hybrid is added which means that you already have the hybrid uh, plugin or your DAW recognizes the hybrid plugin your AMP simulator first you have to download the mercurial cab IR library here now what this is, it is basically where all the simulated sound for the cabinet are stored. So first you have to download this. It's 200 MB so it might take a couple of minutes for you to download. After downloading, simply unzip it like what you did with the zip file earlier. Just click extract here. Just wait for it to be extracted. There we have it. So this is the Mercurial cap. So again, this is the folder where all of your all of the simulated sounds for the cabinets are stored okay now after downloading this you will have to download this one so for again you have to check if it's 32 bit if your laptop or computer is 32 bit or 64 bit mine is 64 bit so i'll click this one this is the plugin itself what we're downloading right now wait for it okay so after downloading you'll do the same thing what you did for hybrid simply right click extract here and then you will copy the .dl file where uh, and then you're gonna paste it to where all of your VST plugins are stored so copy so we go to C program files Steinberg VST plugins and simply paste Continue. There, it's already pasted. Mercurial cab. So Mercurial cab and hybrid are both in your VST plugins folder. Click rescan. Watch the section here. And there we have it. Mercurial cab is now added in your DW. Great. Congratulations. You're now done with the hardest part of the tutorial. Next step is to connect your audio interface to your laptop or computer. And then, connect your guitar to the input of your audio interface. Open up your DAW and make sure in the preferences or settings that it is using your audio interface as its audio device. If you cannot find your audio device, it may be because you haven't downloaded the driver for it. The driver is installed so that your laptop and DAW can detect the audio device or your audio interface. Don't worry if you don't know where to download it. You can just download it online by simply googling the name of your audio interface or simple instructions are given in the box of your audio interface to on where to download the driver for it. Next is to create an audio track in your DAW and arm it and turn on the monitors so you can hear yourself playing the guitar. Add the hybrid plugin and that you just downloaded in your plugin section of your DAW and then add the mercurial cabinet. It may prompt you to select the folder of the Mercurial Cab IR library you downloaded. Simply navigate to where you place a folder and click OK. From there, you can just tweak the knobs of your virtual amp and cabinet until you got your desired tone. That's it! It's that easy! Now, if you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell button because we'll be posting more of these kinds of tutorials in the future. See you around!